Hi guys, um, it's me, Thierry. Today um, I'm doing another um, cheap knockoff action figure review. Um, I, well, this time I, I didn't get it from a, I didn't get this from a pound shop. I actually got it from a shop in the UK called Oxfam. And uh, my friends at school and basically the people who take the mick out of me will know which Oxfam I'm talking about. But I won't mention the name of the place because, you know, of legal reasons on YouTube. I couldn't think of anything. <clears throat> anyway, so Oxfam is a charity shop. Thrift shop if you're American. <clears throat> and um, the, the shop basically sells um, clothes, uh, books and DVDs. But um, I found something unusual, an actual toy, and I present to you, I present to you, da 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 da, Action Force, Combat Soldiers. So yeah, um, the I got some army figures. If you can see there, I got two figures and a couple weapons. And um, just look at, it's upside down. See, and the price of this. If it'll show up on camera, this was actually three, three pounds forty nine, and I was like, that's a bit steep for something like this. You would usually pick it up for a pound, but then they reduced it to um, two pounds ninety nine. So yeah, they did. They took a bit off. And there, you can see uh, the not to three sad onion, as what Ashen always says. Yeah, and there's virtually nothing on the back. So yeah, the, the back isn't very um very good. It's just got a bit of camouflage. I'll just put that there for the background. In the background, I mean. Yeah. Um. Now we will present. Now I will show you the figures. Starting with the first one. Um. This guy. Zoom on. This guy. He reminds me a lot of Bear Grylls. I I don't really know the face wise, but. Uh, I don't know, the hat reminds me of it. And if you look at the face there, um, unlike that, my last toy I reviewed, that flipping scary zombie soldier, this actually looks quite human. Other than his eyes are just two black dots, which is a bit weird. And um, yeah, this one has a hat on, and green long hair, and lots of screws in the back. Like, is this what it looks like? This is what it looks like when you go to war some like crazy Nazi soldier shoots you in the back multiple times and um, he hasn't he's got like these weird pockets on his chest do they have bullets in them so why would he have bullets for each, one bullet for each pocket and to be more disturbing they do look like bombs actually so that means he's a suicide bomber which I don't really want to think about with any kind of toy for children put in there and we'll get the next figure who's um, a black guy so we get a white guy and a black guy well it's promoting I like how it's promoting racial harmony so that's okay and um, but this one has a weirder looking face uh, the face isn't really the face isn't too bad it doesn't look scary like the zombie soldier like I've already mentioned a million times but he just has really really big eyes like some kind of anime character and he has more stuff on his chest he has some bullets um, and um, two chrome coloured grenades I don't know why you would have chrome grenades that's a bit weird and this guy actually does have proper green hair look at it like they didn't even have black hair at the front it like it goes all the way down he's got long green hair like the other one so I mean, what kind of what kind of shampoo were they using? Like stuff from a swamp. I mean, my God! And he's he's got more bull he's got more screws in his back. So um, these guys are kind of dead. Right, and now we will bring in the accessories. Um, with um, this, it's like some weird sniper pistol. I don't I don't know what it I don't really know what it is. Um, uh, Cause I'm not really, I'm not really like um, an expert in military and weaponry, so um, I think this one actually goes with this guy, which 
and it's in woohoo although he can't really hold his gun that good shoot 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 ah okay that was a bit weird um but unlike other figures these guys do hold their guns which is all right it's just sitting down there and um we have the other thing which is more more like um a sniper shotgun looking thing which i don't know this might be a real gun but i i don't really i'm not really into armies and whatever i just i just like getting these army figures for a laugh because i don't play call of duty unlike everyone at my school they woohoo it can fit in his hand as well but it has the same weird looking the weird looking way of holding it I mean he holds it he holds it like at the side for some reason oh, I'm gonna drink me own wee right shut up there girls right and now the 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 last gun is um this a flipping weird like laser laser machine gun thingy a bit like it kind of looks like one of those um guns from the that supposedly going to be in the future but at the front it's like a minigun which and it it doesn't even make sense i mean the f the gun's about as big as the figure's leg but you can actually you can actually fit it in the guy's hand but not very well get in there woohoo and uh, it's kind of in there but it doesn't really make sense anyway i mean like if this was a real gun if this was like a real gun then like um even if you held it with one hand your arm would just snap off completely and um you'd have to be like the strongest person in the world and if you try to fire the gun it would probably backfire and send you five million five billion miles backwards until your head explodes so yeah this guy is obviously meant to be very strong and like i'm gonna take this gun off because it doesn't look right really and the reason why i didn't give it to this guy is because his hand is more like a fist and you can't see the holes there the hole is there gripping the two the index finger and the thumb so you can't really he can't hold the big laser rifle and now the last thing for our uh, for our army for our army double pack is the scariest thing you've ever seen it just looks like a normal dog from the back like a german shepherd that they can have for war but when you turn around da, 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 oh my gosh that that is even more terrifying than the zombie soldier i reviewed last last time i did one of these i mean just look at that face if you it probably doesn't look good on camera but if you have seen um or heard of the creepy pasta story smile.jpg aka smile dog um i know that the people who made these toys definitely heard of it i mean he, that is just terrifying he's got big big bug eyes much bigger than the than the black soldier and he's got sharp teeth covered in pink blood so i'm gonna i'm gonna call my dog um hellhound or spawn of satan all right here you go <sighs> actually no let, let's just take him away anyway that was my review of um action force combat soldiers and i mean these figures are all right even though i got them for 2.99 which is a bit steep for something like this these are okay they may be cheap toys but you get two you get two in a pack and they actually do hold their weapons which is a surprise for like most like cheap soldiers so yeah um these toys are okay and 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 they don't look so s scary and mutant that you'd be waking up at night screaming and vomiting like 24 7 anyway so thank you for watching and um I will, I will also make more of these since this is my second video of this type. Anyway, so, uh, goodbye.